Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how you can take your Adobe Fresco design, even with some technical challenges, and actually turn it into a logo in Illustrator that's clean and professional. So I'm gonna get into it. We're gonna keep this one pretty short and quick. Here it is with all my layers and everything. And so you can see here, these are all vector layers, which is really great. But what I need to do is because this is in black and white, and I want a really good quality image to be able to use in Adobe Illustrator, so I'm actually gonna take this, I'm gonna save this as a different file format. So I'm gonna hit save as. I'm gonna save it on my computer. There we go, and I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG. I don't wanna open up the Photoshop file on there, but I'm gonna put this right on my desktop so it's easy to find, hit save. Now I've got that as a good quality JPEG. I'm gonna go ahead and go over and open up Adobe Illustrator now. I'm gonna create a new document. So we'll just do something that's nice and big. So we'll just create create new as easily as possible. I'm gonna use a couple tricks here. So we'll just do it as that. I think this is fine. This is a good size. Here we go. And then I'm gonna place that document that we just downloaded, the JHSLaw JPEG. I'm gonna actually place it here on this document. So let me show you how to do that. You hit file, place, there we go. GHS Law, there's the PSD, but I also saved it as a JPEG. So here it is. Go ahead and drop that in. You can see here, this file is really big, but that's good. The bigger it is, the easier it's gonna be for me to trace. So now what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna crop this. So you can see here, crop image. There we go. In fact, I'm only gonna use this concept, so I don't need these other ones. I'm just gonna bring this in here. Hit apply, boom. So now I have this clean version of this logo. And what I can do here, this is a quick trick. I could literally redraw this with the pen tool. That's typically what I would what I would do, but because this is such a clear, good version, I'm actually just gonna hit image trace, but I'm gonna hit the little arrow next to it and hit one color, black and white. Kept it really close. So now I hit expand. It's gonna show you all those anchor points and I can make adjustments from there. Now I'm gonna go back to my regular selection tool. I'm gonna hit shift command or shift control uh, G and it's gonna ungroup it. You can hit it again to ungroup it again. Just make sure it's totally ungrouped. Now I'm gonna take this background and just delete it. There we go, I just deleted that out there. And now you can see my outlines. So these are the outlines for the design that I have. And now I'm just gonna need to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna hit command or control and I'm gonna add a little graph so I can see really, really clean behind me here. And I wanna make sure that everything is lined up. So I'm gonna hit command or control R, bring in my rulers. I wanna bring this down. I'm gonna make this really big and easy to see. There we go. Just one in here, there we go. Delete that one. And bring this up just a little bit, there we go. And so you can see here, this isn't lined up. So I wanna make sure that everything is clean and even, evenly spaced. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom. Bring this down. This looks like it's almost exactly right here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. You can see here this one touches and this one does not. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other one, my direct selection tool, click that, just drag that down. Oops, let me make it a little bit bigger. I'll make my life easier here. Perfect, so that's that right there. Same thing on this side, should be good to go. Yep, we're good to go there. So that's nice and even. Now I need to make sure that this is even. So let's line those up. I wanna make sure that this is even. That's pretty good. Okay, do the same thing here. Same thing here. Just adding, these are all guides that I'm adding in just to make sure that everything is crisp and congruent across the entire logo design. I'm having a little bit of discrepancy here. It's not wanting to line up perfectly because they're probably the different distance apart. Let's just pull this in here. You see it's not wanting to line up. That's called a snap too. So what I need to do here is hit command or control uh, Z there and undo it. And then you can hit view. And then there's gonna be an option here under, let me see here, maybe it's under effect, no, it's under view. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit C snap to pixel. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off for now. I'm gonna drag this out because it's snapping to one of them. There we go. So you can see here, this is nice and perfectly in line, but this is just a little bit off. So if I really wanted to, I can just take my direct selection tool, click right here, go up in here, do the same thing, hold down shift, and then bring this, I'm gonna click and drag and bring it in. There we go. So now that those are completely even. Okay, and then I'm gonna delete one of these lines. So I'm gonna click and hold this and pen tool. Should be giving me an option to actually have the remove tool. There we go, let's see where we at. 
That's the pen tool. And so what I need to do now is I need to delete. So I'm gonna hold down this and hit, see the little minus symbol there? I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna click here, anchor point tool. These are the control handles, so I'm gonna bring that in because I want this to be nice and sharp and crisp. There we go. And then if I want to, I can grab this again, the direct selection tool, and bring this in more. And hold this shift down to keep it in a straight line so it's not going up and down, see it's in a straight line. I can bring this to where I think this is gonna look good. I want this to be even, so you can see here it's a lot wider than it is up here, so I'm gonna bring this back and try to find a happy medium. So I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm just gonna bring this to like right, about right there. I think that's about even. This is already starting to look a lot cleaner, a lot better. You can see here, once I get everything lined up the way I want it, I can kind of cut the grid off. You can see here, everything is very cleanly spaced, even now, the top and the bottom. Let me make sure that the top left-hand side matches the right-hand side, so it doesn't. So let me fix that, because I have this matching up here on the bottom, so we need to do the same thing on the top. Let's go ahead and bring that up. All right, I'm gonna grab this, click on it. I'm gonna hold down Shift. It's a little scrolling, because it's zoomed in a lot. I'm gonna hold down Shift. There we go, and I'm gonna click, let go of Shift. I'm gonna click and drag and bring this all the way out there. There we go, see? And so I'm trying to get everything to be evenly sized. So you can see here, this is the width of that. I wanna make sure that the width of this is the same, so I'm gonna rotate this 45 degrees. Boom, right there. Make sure that this is the same size, so I can actually hit Command-Y. See, looks like it's very, very close, but it's actually a little bit off. So what I need to do is just click this. And how I did that is I hit Command Y and it shows me my outlines. So if you want to try that, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and make sure I get this exactly right. See, it's kind of hard sometimes. There we go. Make sure this is lined up exactly on the line. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay. So we'll bring that in. As you can see here, there's still some spacing issues. So I need to bring this down. I'm going to grab my direct selection tool, grab this guy. I want to bring, make sure that this is the same at the top. And then Y. There we go. Okay. This is all even up. Take care of that. Take care of that. I don't want to remove this here. Boom. Okay, so this is getting cleaner. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time to get everything lined up right. But once you have that, it looks really, really nice. It's getting better and better by the minute. And if I want to turn these guides off and on for some reason, let me just escape on that. I don't know why I did that. There we go. You want to turn these guides off and on. All you got to do is hit Command Y. Or actually, I'm sorry, Command colon. There we go. You can see it right next to the L. Those turn it off and on. So now I got everything pretty much lined up. The last piece I see here that it doesn't look like it's all the way up yet is I'm going to grab this one. So let's see here, let's make sure that it's matching up. Yep, those two sides match up now. So I pretty much got everything. It looks like the only thing that isn't matching up right now at this moment is this. So I wanna grab this, grab these guides in here. I wanna make sure that these are the same height. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click this. I'm gonna put an anchor point so I know where the tip of this is, or a guide, I should say. So I know the tip of that is, and then I'm gonna actually adjust this. So I'm gonna click on this now. We're just gonna delete it. So we're gonna delete this, we're gonna delete this, oops. Delete this one, there we go. And we'll make this, bring this down. Okay, so I wanna delete this and I'm gonna add a new one back. What I wanted to do first was make sure that everything was evenly spaced, that there was nothing off here. So let me grab this guy, put that down, grab this guy. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up now. So it's even as well. There we go. And then we're gonna stick a new anchor point directly in the middle. This is the middle section, this is the intersection. Oops. There we go, right there. So now I can take the direct selection tool, click on this, and bring it all the way up. And this should be even now, top and bottom. See that? Looks really good. The bottom already looks good. So this is already now done in black and white. I wanna take it to the next level, which I've been wanting to do. I'll show you this real fast here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and group all this together. Go over to my layers over here on the right. 
actually duplicate this layer, so I'm going to hold it and drag it and bring it right in here to the plus symbol. It'll make a copy of it, turn this one off, and I want to lock it. I just want to save that, because that's kind of like my original, right? And if actually, if you look in here, I forgot to take something out. This guy, this guy never left. So I want to make sure real quick before we save it and move on to the next step that we actually did all of that. So this looks like it's a little bit, needs to be a little bit wider. Let's see. sure it's in the exact same spot as it was before so I'm marking all these okay now if you look at the direct selection tool you can see here got some issues going on so let me just go ahead and delete this guy boom we'll delete this guy and I want to line up these two anchor points here that one goes there that one goes whoops let me bring that back down there we go perfect and I'll just cut that arm there make this nice and straight that's the middle okay so now I've got this thing really cleaned up everything's symmetrical everything is evenly spaced the H the G and the S all the sides are even you can see here this actually looks really good with it lined up here and the same the same the same and then if I really wanted to I could cut this make this a little more open um, it might be a good idea actually let me show you something here this could be really helpful so if we grab this and we show the same distance here and we just put that up in here to make sure it's the same yeah see it's not it's a little bit wider so what I want to do without changing the width let's go up in here and Y there we go and I'm just gonna cut that out so I'm gonna hit this layer right I got the black layer on top I'm gonna hold my S layer and then I'm gonna go over to my Pathfinder tool if I can find it Pathfinder window Pathfinder if you have a trouble finding it, it's right here There we go, and then I'm gonna cut that out of there. So watch boom. Oops The problem is since it was grouped I cut all of it out So let me go back here click on this again click on that There you go now it's gone So you can see here that actually just even everything out So all all the spacing now is the same across the entire design so you're gonna have a lot of symmetrical value here so let me show you now what i want to do so i've been wanting to do this since the very beginning i'm going to click and drag this to here i'm going to rotate this 45 degrees bring this back over here put this behind it there we go and now i can grab this top layer hold shift there we go and i'm going to make this white boom so i can go here and make this smaller it doesn't need to be that big there we go Boom. And then now I'm going to copy all this. I'm going to deselect the triangle. I'm going to command G and group everything again. And then I'm going to grab both of them and I'm going to align them all. So you're going to hit this one up here. You'll see it. Horizontal align. You're going to go over to this one. Vertical align. And vertical distribute center. So everything's going to be centered. Just like it's supposed to be. See how clean that is? Now you have all three characters. The G, the H, and the S. I do want to add something to this real quick because I feel like the S looks more or the G looks more like a C now. So let's go ahead and add just a quick bit to this. So let's go one, two, three, right there. I'm gonna bring that in. That's a little bit better, but we need to add another anchor point. So I'm gonna go add one right here. And then I'm gonna bring that one back out to where this other one is. So we're gonna go ahead and make this this thing even here. There we go. Whoops. Bring those guides back. Let's see. All right. There we go. Let's bring this back into here. Oops. There we go. Oh, actually, you know what? I can see an opportunity here. So let's bring that in. Boom. What do you think? I think that looks pretty nice. So command, there you go, get rid of that. Now that looks like a G, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that we have this all set up, 
I got the illustration. Now I need some typography to go with it, right? Not just the logo mark, but the text mark. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to find a font that's similar to what they're using now, but probably better. So let's go look. So their current website is gotinjury.net. You can see they're using, let's see here. Let me just copy this. I'll just paste it right into the document. Oh, we're gonna have to put a ba black background behind it. So let's do that real fast. And then we'll just select right here. Boom. So I don't know what font that is, but I'm gonna find something similar. So we're gonna type in gingery hammer and, and then on the second line, S-C-H-N-E-I-D-E-R-M-A-N. That's a heck of a last name, L-L-P. All right, here we go. So let's make this all caps like they did just to make it easy. Boom. And then we're gonna pick a few different, we'll just use that for the moment. And we can see if there's a bold version. There we go, Baskerville Bold. Yeah, it's a little bit different than what's on here now, but it's still really nice. Let's just see here, regular. Make this bigger. I really like this font. Okay, and then we're gonna size this up. So I'll hold shift, size it up. And this is, remember, this is just a reference point. And look at the difference between this logo and this logo now. Much more prominent, right? So let's pull this up here. And then what I'll do is I'm actually gonna hold these two together and align them. Whoops, like that. There we go. All right, let me move this off the artboard. I'm gonna group these together and then we're gonna center it on the artboard. Boom. So everything's lined up pretty nice. You can tell here the Schneiderman LLP isn't even aligned on this one. This one it is. So we actually made it even better by having everything, everything, having everything be aligned. So this is a, a really simple version of the logo. Now I would be adding some color into this. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna click and drag this up. We're gonna grab this, bring this down, make a copy of it. Okay, and I want to make this the same blue, ungroup it, shift command G, there we go, and I'm going to use the same blue that they used in their logo here, boom, okay, so that makes it really, really easy, and now if I want to adjust this a little bit, which I do, there we go, I really want it to be aligned up, and then I can do that same thing here, there we go, I think this looks really nice, one, two, three, one, two, there we go. That looks really nice. So I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, but this is your overall logo concept. And then if I really want to, it's a little harder in Illustrator, but I can add an effect and then I can go stylize, hit drop shadow, and then I can adjust the drop shadow. So I'm gonna go probably down to like 30%. And you can see here, that looks a lot better than what we had here, right? <laughs> Funky, little sticks. That's what those are, those are like little sticks. Let's hold that shift there, there we go. Which logo would you pick? Top ones or bottom ones? So this is uh, taking a logo in Illustrator from scratch. Literally I drew it in Adobe Fresco, moved it over to Adobe Illustrator and redrew it all. Made sure that everything was even and I'm pretty darn happy with it. I do think that I would make some little adjustments to this S here, but overall, this is a much, much better logo design, and I'd be proud to show this to my client to get an approval or get some changes. So, hope this was really helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. God bless, and as always, keep looking up.